So welcome everyone to another episode of the Northern Nerdcast. Joining me uh, as usual is Clayton. Uh, Adam and Jay joining me and Clayton and we're going to be talking about um, video game movies. Um, I know the height of Jay, cinema. I know I know when uh, when you guys were at the show last year you touched you, you did this as well. And uh, yeah, that's actually uh, the first thing we're going to talk about because we have a Mario Brothers movie virgin who has never seen the movie until this afternoon. So Adam, what, what were your thoughts really? on Mario Bros? <laughs> 38 years old, grew up with my entire life, of course, with the thing, and I just never, ever watched it. So I bought it from a friend a while ago, and it, I think I've had it for a year. Thanks, pal. And uh, <laughs> we actually just popped it in. Wife and I sat down. There it is. And we actually gave it a go for the first time. And I mean, of course, I've heard all the notoriety about it. I've heard many things about it. So we just sat down, went into it. It's a movie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, it's, <laughs> I don't know that it's necessary. Yeah, it, it's not necessarily <laughs> a Mario, but like I got to the point where I sat down and just thought about it, it was like, if you actually named them any like Steve and Frank, like would it, would it make a difference? Would there really be much in there? But uh, I, they did little things in there. They had the, the bob bomb. They had bullet bill. Uh, you know, the, the dad was the big mushroom ooze, but it was almost like a, like a, a piranha plant coming out. Uh, <laughs> the Goombas that like, these look so weird. Like these little heads on these giant, like, I don't know. Um, the turtles. It, it was, it was, yeah, it was an experience. Um, <laughs> One thing I had seen prior to this, though, so I know, like I said, I know much about the notoriety. I think everyone should watch it after watching the podcast. Yeah, is uh, is gaming historians little video? Yes. Did you guys see that? Yes. He did a yes. 30, 30 minute documentary yes. on it, all about the making of and all the thing. And you'll see the movie went through at least hell. Five, yeah, about five different writer teams. Yeah, five different teams. How about and wife director team too, and and yes. some good people too. Like some good people were attached to this movie, and just they just let it fall down the yes shithole. Tom, Tom Hanks was going to be Mario, and yeah. Nintendo said no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yeah, they're like no, you know? we don't we don't think he's got the range. And then yeah. all of a sudden he craps out Philadelphia like months later. Yes, the same year <laughs> that the movie comes out and wins an Oscar. So I it's, yeah it's rife with confusion and like i was watching it with my wife she looks over she's like why why is everything exploding every <laughs> there were scenes when they're driving away in the car and cars are just ramming stuff and exploding yeah. and they're not showing why they're just like <laughs> like flip it and you're, you have no idea there's no reason and just like there's chronic people going through glass and just like explosion 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 but the cars even when the, they get caught by the police they get handcuffed and then they're flying at the police building and it gets caught with like one of those jet strings to stop the car from ramp like what are you doing who, <laughs> who lives their life like that like like uh, okay so reptile derivative or not like so uh, what so. what for for all of this is well i mean this whole thing is for everybody but what worked about this movie like nintendo N nintendo backed it so they obviously believed in it at the time but I mean, I, I remember seeing a blurb like when they were doing the Mario history and it said, uh, Super Mario Brothers, yes, it happened. Now let's move on. And that was from Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, like my we I watched it with my daughter and she loved it. Like I, I loved it growing up just because like besides I, I think it was like the first video game movie. I, I mean, to, that, uh, that I've seen, but I think it was like it can't get much worse than that. And it's one of those movies that's so bad. It's good. And like, like Yoshi is a mini Godzilla. Like it, there's nothing, there's nothing cute about him. He's like this ugly dinosaur that gets stabbed by Harry Potter's aunt. Cause that's who that is. <laughs> <laughs> You have to remember, though, like back when this movie came out, there was no roadmap for video game movies. Nobody knew what was going to work, what wasn't going to work. Yeah. How much attention should you pay to the source material? You know, how much should you just let it go to, um, you know, try to stray from the source material? And so and plus, uh, like uh, Svenny said, like they had like if you watch that documentary with Gaming Historian, it is like it is so illuminating 
you see you it answers so many questions <laughs> it doesn't tell you why everything's exploding but it tells you pretty much everything <laughs> jay what are your thoughts yeah bob hoskins well bob hoskins is probably the best thing about it because yeah. bob hoskins is a great actor it's just too bad he's in such a terrible movie um he was drunk the whole time yeah so is, yeah, <laughs> so is luigi yeah yeah, yeah. john leguizamo yeah, yeah. You're, you're right, though. They don't have to call it Super Mario Brothers. They could have called it the Super Steven Brothers, and it would have been the same damn thing. It wouldn't have made yeah. a lick of difference uh, because there was barely anything that uh, contained Mario. It's, it's barely a video game movie, let alone a Mario movie. Like, you it's do like, have like, the bomb, and then, like you said, you got Yoshi, but he's like this ugly-ass thing, right? Like, I mean, look, the effects look good for Yoshi if you're trying to make, uh, you know, if you're trying to make, like, a dinosaur look real. Yeah. But this also came out the same year as Jurassic Park, did it not? Yes, it did. Ninety two yeah. and ninety three, yeah. yeah. So it's I'm like a, it's it's like and the Tarantino it. on LSD. There's there's Yoshi, an attempt at Yoshi. But <laughs> you know what I will say though about that is for an an early nineties movie, like again, it was bad. But it's like you said, like with what they didn't have a big budget. It was this new husband and wife team. Um, even even Dennis Hopper said he was only supposed to be there for I think like three weeks and it turned into ten. <laughs> yeah. And the only like reason the, the only reason he agreed to be Bowser slash King Koopa, whatever you want to call him, was because his kids were a huge Mario Brothers fan. He didn't know anything about the movie. And then apparently he apparently just... neither did anybody else who made it. <laughs> and I mean knew anything about Mario Brothers either, apparently. Yeah. I, I think it was also a um like a piece for Super Nintendo because the the uh, Super Scope was in it. Yes. And uh, right. like and it was it was like the main weapon like it was the bazooka that he uses and then and then you had that uh, I, I'm pretty sure that that was Big Bertha that yes, gave yes. them the boots and they're flying yes. across the, all these <laughs> and things there was and then swamp boots. Yeah. They're called swamp boots. Swamp boots, that's right. Mm. And they were charged with a bullet bill for some reason. Okay, so yeah. so far we've talked about everything that's wrong with the movie. No, everything there, there's there's nothing really redeeming about this movie, like at all. And I mean, I don't, I don't, I can't remember if it was a after credits or if it was like mid credits. But then they had this, the, they were gonna do a joke, but they yeah. uh, based on the Koopa brothers, the cousins, Iggy and uh, and um, Spike. Oh, okay. I don't know if you guys ever watched it. Like, I, I, it was such a bad. I only found out about it reading about it afterwards. That there is this bonus scene where the Koopa Koopa cousins are in Nintendo's headquarters, talking with these big wigs about doing a spinoff called the Koopa Brothers. <laughs> oh, amazing! I never seen that. Yeah, it's uh, you can YouTube it after, or you could just watch the whole movie again. It's totally up to you. But you'll never get that <laughs> hour and ten yeah. minutes back. But I mean. I, I mean, they they obviously had plans for a sequel because it, it ended on a cliffhanger. Like, you're not going to yes. believe this. And then he's like, oh, I believe. And then that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's one of those, it's one of those movies like, sequel. what if? So, well, I mean. And like. He's like, I and mean, they show the bottom of his shoes and it says Reebok. As he's crawling underneath, they're like, "Oh, oh, that's good." There's a Reebok over in the in the Jurassic World. That's 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 good. That's good. Reebok's like, yeah, we had nothing to do with this. They just had some shoes and <laughs> like even even the, uh, the 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 mafia thugs. Like there was there was no reason for those guys to even be in this movie. Like they're they're no. the, the corporate uh, like competition of Mario and Luigi, and they're just destroying everything and digs and ruining everything and then he turned into a chimp it was just it, they, they had too many they had too many ideas he's donkey and, kong. and they didn't work what's that because he's donkey kong yeah I, kong. I, I, I i yeah maybe maybe that was uh, no, he was. uh his name egg. was kong his name was kong that's why he turned into a chimp because he's donkey is that kong. what they were is that what they were going for there because the, the only thing i took out of that yeah. was someone shows up out of nowhere there's a mass of people sitting around. The guy takes out a gun, shoots the guy into a chimp, and everybody laughs. Not <laughs> one person's mortified. No one is upset. And I mean, they show clearly he's wearing a ring. Even my wife's like, 
you know, everyone's laughing, but like his family's probably going to be upset when he comes out. Like, you know, <laughs> like, sure, he's a bad guy, but he's a bad guy with a family. Like, it, uh, it's just silly. It's just silly fun. I don't think any of those characters had any of that amount of depth. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh, what if he's got a wife and kids? No, he doesn't. No, that's that's just my <laughs> wife having a bleeding heart. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> yeah, real people, real that's people right. critiquing that's fake. That's people. right. Going and hugging our children after watching the movie. He does have a family. Where's Diddy and Candy and uh, Trixie, that's right. and Cranky, Cranky, Cranky. Yeah. yeah, Cranky and Funky so- and all those damn Kongs. Oh yeah, Funky, Bob Marley Kong, and and Baby, <laughs> Baby Kong, Baby Kong. <laughs> How could we forget about Baby Gong? It's easily forgettable because number three was a terrible game. And I yeah. really hope Long that time. Nintendo doesn't get an idea to make a Donkey Kong live action movie. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> like it, Zelda or Metroid would be cool. Well, Zelda was supposed yeah. to be a Netflix show, but Netflix or Nintendo canceled it. Oh, did they? Oh. Yeah, they canceled that and Star Fox because they wanted it to be a surprise and some idiot leaked it. So Nintendo pulled it. Ah, uh, whatever. That's yeah. nonsense. They, it's not like they, they must have not had any money behind it then because, you know what I mean? <laughs> they must have just spitballed it because there's no way that they had something in the pipeline and then one guy says something and they're like, oh, well, now you ruined it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? We wasted the good surprise now on you. we're not going to make yeah. money off this. Yeah. 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 People know about it? Yeah. Now we're not yeah. going to make anything. Yeah. Yeah. We wanted to hype it for 17 years before we actually released yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's blown. <laughs> there is a process that you have to follow yeah. people honestly, have to be yeah, made exactly. to honestly i i think exactly like jay was saying those are franchises you could do something with but oh, my so. personal opinion you need to make them netflix shows you, you got to draw them that's out. what it, that's what the plan was was star yes. fox and zelda were supposed to be shows yes yeah, so that's what i mean mario i think could go back to the big screen i think you could do a, a one and done uh, yeah exactly they, they said they're supposed to in the coming years um I think you can do it. I think you can just it. There's nothing complex there with Zelda. If you really want to get into lore and stuff like that, I think you can draw it out by introducing characters traveling through, uh, through the Hylian fields, going everywhere. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's, that's more for that show, um, that style, but Mario, I think is absolutely could come back and, and do something with it. So, so moving on, we, we got an incredible anime out of this out of this series, and we got two absolute garbage movies. And what I'm talking about is Street Fighter, and uh, the re- is it the Return of Chun Li or the Revenge? I see. I never even saw it. I just saw the first one, and right off the bat, you can't have a French guy playing an American hero. And I, I know that's what Jean-Claude Van Damme in his height of his career. <laughs> that's like, what he did. Legend. It was so That's bad. what he did. The, the legend of Chun-Li 2009. Yeah. yeah the yeah. legend. That's what it was. And, and like, I, again, I never saw that one. All I know is that they had Chris Klein from American pie playing some <laughs> character and they had Neil McDonough who tried to fill the role that, Raul Julia killed the only redeeming thing about that you said Bob Hoskins from Mario Raul Julia was incredible as Bison with as what Bison. he had and yeah. Yeah. he he didn't get paid for that movie because he was th- that was his last movie he was so sick that he died and they dedicated the movie to him he never oh they, they used ar- <laughs> yeah they used archive footage for a lot of his scenes uh, but yeah, because he had signed on to do a sequel and then they, it never materialized because it was so bad. And I mean, I'm pretty sure Kylie Minogue played Cammy. I think so. I think yeah. you're right, actually. And I mean, I, I, I again, I don't remember much yeah, about that movie. 100% I just remember, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, Jay, Jay's going to be our fact checker. <laughs> um, yes. But, but like... And then, and then that whole side story about Blanca becoming like a, as a test oh. subject, and then like, and they use what was it mutagen? It was like ooze or mutagen, like it was from yeah. Ninja Turtles too. Yeah, yeah. Like, and then the canister. Like Ninja Turtle movie. <laughs> Did you see the TGRI movie? across the canister? <laughs> <laughs> and then as well, I said and then mutagen. You tried, it was and green, green, didn't he? It may as well be. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then and then you had Zangief, who was always do going like this. And oh, it was it was so bad. Like, I again, but I didn't that, think it could get much worse. 
<laughs> Mario somehow. <laughs> it, it was worse than Mario, and then and then that forgettable what? sequel. Oh. Which you think it was worse than Mario? The Legend I, of Chun Li was worse. No, I I think the first Street Fighter was worse than Mario. It just it, it didn't make sense. Again, I, I I'm uh, there's a lot Mario. that I'm missing because. <laughs> Uh, like I, I didn't. I, I, I loved the anime. The, the Street Fighter Two anime was amazing. And then, and then, like, I don't know. I just that. That's all I have to say is I, I thought it was worse than Mario. I'll leave it to you guys. <laughs> I have I never. I have never like played a fighting game or watched a movie about a fighting game where I was like, oh my god, the story is so in depth. Unless you count like Dragon Ball, where it's like 15 episodes of charging up and then, you know, one punch and a miss. (laughs) So what works for this movie, guys? (laughs) What works? Well, at least they look like their characters. Yeah, that's about it. They did a lot better job of that. Like in Mario, you don't even know what the hell's going on. Like like Svenny said, uh, you could put different names on these characters and it wouldn't matter. At least Street Fighter, at least they look like who they're supposed to be. Yeah. Like even if it is a French Guile, it still looks like Guile and it still looks like Chun Li and and as shitty as the though, like, are. Source yeah. material story wise, going back to what was released at that time, what was it? It was right after uh, Super Street Fighter Two Turbo. How much story was there in the Street Fighter Two games? that they could actually take and transfer to a movie where you could root for the characters because you already knew what their, you know, what their character arcs were or the plot was going into it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know. It's Ryu and Ken and Bison is bad. And, and E Honda. And, and there's Chun Lee and yeah. E Honda. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, Blanca, uh, yeah, Blanca, it, it was good that they concentrated on Blanca because I mean his story is like he's the only I don't know, supernatural mutant type. Also, you know like I mean? Blanca's Charlie, like Blanca is Guile's friend that he was trying to save. Yeah, I wasn't so yeah, I wasn't sure what happened stuff. there. That's not in that's not how the game goes. Like no, that doesn't make any sense because Charlie's no, actually doesn't. in one and then he's in like Street Fighter Alpha or you have to fact check that one, but I know that he's in the later yeah, games. Yeah, he is. He's in one of them for sure. He is. I think you're yeah. right. It is because he looks like Guile, except his hair is slightly different, and he's got glasses. It's like the whole Ryu Ken thing. They put on a different G there, and they <laughs> change their hair color. And oh my god, is that who is that? We went so long on Mario that we only have ten minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> That's all, all right, good. We'll uh, we'll move on to uh, it's it's another movie that is getting a hard R reboot like fatalities everything but Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Oh, look at Mortal him. Kombat. <laughs> I still remember see, like I was telling everyone off uh, before we started. Worst recording. version of the game, by the way. I saw that in the drive-through with my like my family, and then. The only reason my parents went to see it was because they wanted to see Johnny Mnemonic, which was just as bad. Like it was, it was hilariously bad. Oh, the, the drive through. I thought you, you meant, you mean the drive in drive in. Yeah. We you said yeah, the drive through. I was we like, oh, Mc- you saw we, that copy of the game on the drive through on the ground. Like we somebody just tossed it. Or... And we said, yeah, we'd like to watch, we'd like to order a mortal Kombat, but like a M- McMortal Kombat, <laughs> Mc Kombat with uh, extra spicy fries. But no, that, that's another series. Like, I'm glad that they're going to do a reboot on it because yeah. the first one, the first one wasn't bad, like with, yeah. with your source material. And then the second one, they killed oh. off characters that didn't actually die in, in was that an, uh, stuff. Annihilation? Yeah. yeah. That and, first one though, man, the first one was like the first legitimately good video game movie that I saw. Yeah. Like I can go back and watch agree. it now and I have to watch it with like, I had to take it with a bit of a grain of salt. Like it's really not great, but as far as like a, a martial arts movie goes, it's pretty friggin' cool. Like you see some pretty good fights in that. Like the choreography was pretty good. Yeah. For, for know, I like, that. um, I like the enter the dragon version better since that's basically what this movie is ripping off is enter the dragon. Yeah. So I yeah. prefer to watch that version of the movie. <laughs> yeah. That but one I'm, doesn't have Goro or fireballs though. Yeah. And there, I mean, and there was... plus Kano in the movie was awesome. Treasure these moments. <laughs> <laughs> like, He's such a douche. There was, but there was nothing redeeming about annihilation. Like they, like again, for, 
almost 2000s. I think it came out in 97, 98. But the graphics, Mar- like, again, Mario had better graphics than than this. Like, when, when Liu Kang turned into that dragon to fight Shao Kahn, that was terrible. <laughs> it was so bad. And, like, it was just, like, all these five-minute scenes put together, like, Nightwolf was in the movie for like 30 seconds, just telling him how to to reach his inner beast or whatever. And like, I, I, for, for some reason, I always thought Shao Kahn was Vin Diesel because he looks like him, (laughs) but like Raiden becomes immortal. Like, and, and, and is Shao Kahn's his brother. Like that never happened in the games. They were not brothers. Raiden becomes recast in the second one. Oh yeah. Christopher Lambert doesn't play him in the second one. That's right. And I mean, and uh, he, like Christopher Lambert, everybody well knew, of, you know, in the first one from Highlander and everything. Yes. So when you saw him kind of exercise some chops there, it was neat. And when he was yeah. absent on the second one, it was kind of a big blow. I think the biggest thing, and again, we're spoilers from like, what, 25, 20 years ago or something like that. Spoiler but like <laughs> with, with the opening with, with Shao Kahn and just Johnny Cage, just like, I got this. <laughs> And then it was just like, yeah. oh, okay, like we're here we go, like you know, and, like, and that, like that was everybody moments. was recast except for except for uh, Katana and um, Liu Kang. It was the only two actors that continued on. Everybody else became too, I guess, too Hollywood. Like, what are they doing with their careers now? Like, Lyndon Ashby was in uh, was the it? third Resident Evil, and he got killed by super zombies. The the girl the um, the original Sonya Blade. She, she ever since Billy Madison, what has she done? Nothing. There's no reason that they couldn't have continued on unless they thought they were bigger than the stars than they actually were. I don't know. Well, yeah, isn't Johnny every- Cage the original actor? <laughs> no, Lyndon Ashby. It was this. T- it was this totally different guy that they had in. It was probably a stunt double. His stunt double was wasn't doing stunt- anything, so he's like, oh, yeah. yeah. I thought the same as Jay. I thought it was actually the same. I thought no, it was, it was a uh, totally different guy, and and I mean. The only cool thing that actually, when when I was when I was younger, well, I mean, obviously, um, I, I was in a karate class uh, when Mortal Kombat came out, and we actually got to meet the guy that played Scorpion, Chris Casamasa, oh, cool. the biggest douchebag you'll ever meet in your life. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, again, another person who thinks that they're bigger than they actually are. It's like, yeah. dude, you're a glorified stunt double, <laughs> and you're treating kids that love this movie like absolute shit <laughs> and like people were trying to meet him and he's like get away from me it's like no no that's not your line your you line is get, over, get over, here. over here <laughs> like oh my god like i've been in mortal Kombat. what have you done with your life like really <laughs> that might have carried water in the 90s but and like, and it was like you only see his eyes like you would not you would not see this guy anywhere in the street and know that that guy was in mortal Kombat, and like he did this demonstration for all the all of us karate students and stuff and like it was cool but it's like you dude your claim to fame is mortal combat you have nothing to say <laughs> Just i porch. probably have more followers than that guy <laughs> did you uh did you check his hand to see if the the spear or whatever was coming out a lot you know what i didn't but some people were like oh that's fake well duh <laughs> <laughs> so but you i mean tell again, it's fake this like uh, not, for me, nothing worked for Annihilation. I just, it was so bad. Um, like, again, there's, I think there are only a couple good movies. Sonic the Hedgehog was a good video game movie, but there, there's not many. Yeah. Um, and like, probably was, that one's getting one. a sequel, eh? It is. They, it was, there was a 12 yeah. second clip. Yeah. How original? Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Whatever. I don't care. Good. <laughs> Two works for the I game. I like that. Works for the movie. That's, as long as Jim Carrey comes no. back and they don't recast he is. him like some unfunny person who thinks that they're funny. He is. Apparently, he's coming back for the second one, which is awesome because now they have to have him come back from the mushroom planet or whatever it is. As, so that'll be cool. Crazier, like okay. with his mustache. I got to say something. I yeah. personally am a huge fan of that. It's called Sonic the Hedgehog 2 because I am so sick and tired of titles like Annihilation. And Sonic the Hedgehog and Annihilation. Whatever the hell, right? <laughs> Unleashed and all these dumb freaking titles. You know what Sonic the Hedgehog 2 says to me? They're going for the, the game. Yeah, yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic yeah. 2. And if they play it right, Sonic, Sonic and, Knuckles. and Knuckles could be yeah. the third movie. Sonic and Knuckles could be number three. Yeah. Yeah, I would exactly. dig that. I would watch that. Or they can totally call it that. they can call it Sonic Series S and then Sonic Series X and then Sonic One and then Sonic the Dark Brother Sonic 360. <laughs> Sonic Chaotic. Just don't call it Sonic 2006. Yeah. 
<laughs> no Sonic 2006. Sonic yeah, that's Unleashed. right. But I mean, mm, so yeah. getting because we're down to two and a half minutes ish. Um, what worked for you guys with with the Mortal Kombat series, like the if martial any, arts? Yeah, the martial, martial arts. arts. Yeah. The fact that they just ripped off Enter the Dragon, which is already a good movie, so you know it's actually not bad to watch it. Like, yeah. oh, Sterling, Enter the if Dragon. you're gonna rip off a martial arts movie, rip off the best one ever made. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, honestly, just a lot of one to one combat, not yeah. uh, like Street Fighter again, based on a thing. But you you're taking like cops and militaries storming th- fronts with guns and stuff, whereas. Mortal Kombat was like based on just one to one fights. A tournament. And what they, yeah, and yeah, that's what they really a pushed. Tournament. Yeah. Go figure. What yeah. was yeah. actually about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, and that's the one thing that it kind of did that's the Street Fighter movie didn't. Yeah. Right? Like the Street Fighter, fights. they're they're chasing the boat chases scenes and all this stuff. And and it's Street Fighter, Miami Vice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, even even Van Damme's The Quest or or Kick or Kickboxer or uh the Blood Sport <laughs> were all more Street Fighter movies than Street Fighter. Yeah. Yes. Blood so, Sport. No, yeah. it's, it's so some uh, I, I'd actually like to get the three of you back when on, on a future episode somebody recommended doing I, I and i didn't know that they had tv shows that were based on video games so i'm gonna have to look into this and see some stuff but i i would love to have you guys back to discuss I, i'm actually going to consider p- upgrading to pro because i have 58 seconds to get out whatever but like i don't know i i just I'm going to have to look into this TV stuff because I honestly had no clue that there were video game TV based on TV shows and vice versa, or we can do what someone else suggested video games based on fighting uh, uh, movies that are based on video games. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. That's the second part to this. Yeah. Yeah, So let's, let's do that street fighter there. If you guys are free next weekend, let's do part two. All right. Sounds good. good. Okay, I so I think I'll be available. Yep. Okay, well, we'll figure it out, but I don't know how much time I have left. It just said less than a minute. So it's a very rushed episode because we shit all over Mario Brothers. Um, but <laughs> I wanted to thank <laughs> you guys really for cool. coming on. Yeah, um, it was a lot Thanks of fun, again, and we will definitely do this Thanks again. All right, yep. be in touch. Thanks, guys. Take care. Thanks, Thanks guys. See you later. Good night.